how to take insulin before preparing your insulin dose thoroughly wash your hands using soap and water prior to driving your insulin inspect the vial check the expiry date and any signs of insulin breakdown within the vial if the vial has expired or the insulin appearance looks different from the normal do not use it obtain the new vial as soon as possible clean the rubber stopper on top of the insulin vial using an alcohol pad you should do this each time you use the insulin safely remove the cover of the needle of the syringe take care not to touch the needle on any surface other than the vial of insulin and your skin pull the plunger on the syringe back to the number corresponding to the desired units of the insulin to be taken for instance if you want to inject 10 units of insulin you draw the plunger back so that the end of the plunger is at the line corresponding to 10 units gently push the tip of the needle through the rubber stopper and push the air in the syringe into the vial of insulin by pushing down the plunger with the needle tip in the vial of insulin turn the insulin vial and syringe upside down like this pull back the plunger to get the desired dose of insulin the end of the plunger should be at the same mark as it was when you drew in the air if air bubbles appear in the syringe gently tap the syringe with your finger to make bubbles rise to the top of the syringe and push the insulin back into the vial draw back the plunger the second time to get the desired dose pull the syringe out of the insulin vial and double check the dosage before injecting the insulin clean the area of injection with an alcohol swab or soap and water it is important to allow this region to dry before injecting your insulin dose pinch a large area of skin where you want to take an insulin dose push the needle all the way into the skin at a 90 degree angle with the needle in the skin slowly push the plunger all the way down and release the pinched skin after all the insulin has been injected pull the needle straight out of the skin do not rub the skin at the injection site insulin doses can be injected into several areas of the body including the thighs hips abdomen and upper arms but the optimum place is the abdominal region in order to avoid the development of scar tissue the 10 finger technique can be used to spread out the location for each injection simply spread your hands across your stomach and locate injection sites based on the location of the spaces between the fingers based on blood glucose levels and other medical tests doctors will determine the type of insulin to be injected most patients with type 2 diabetes start off with one injection a day and some may have as many as four depending on the doctor's prescription patients have to take their insulin injections at the right time and by the right method as prescribed by the doctor usually patients take their insulin shots half an hour before meals in case the patient administered the incorrect dose of insulin the level of blood glucose also varies which may lead to hypoglycemia hypoglycemia is a condition in which levels of glucose in the blood are abnormally low if left untreated hypoglycemia can get worse and cause confusion clumsiness fainting etc severe hypoglycemia may also lead to coma in such conditions the patient needs to eat or drink small amounts of glucose-rich food. Hypoglycemia may occur 
when the patient takes more insulin doses than the usual after strenuous exercise or when the stomach is empty.